y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Tori and this video is just a marathon of my spring and also my Easter hauls and decorate with me videos that I have put together for you guys these videos tend to be very popular on my channel and I wanted to go ahead and get this up because I'll be totally honest with you that I have not been in the best state of my mental health lately so I've already missed a couple of posting days and I'm trying to avoid missing any more posting days so I'm gonna go ahead and get this video up I am still hoping to do part two to my Easter decorating. I just haven't got around to it, but just bear with me guys. I promise I'm going to try to do it. I'm going to try my best. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it gives you tons of inspiration for spring and also Easter if you're still looking for some decor inspiration. But if you guys are new here and you're not already, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And also if you'd give me a thumbs up today, this really helps my channel and I really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoy. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. My name is Tori and in today's video I'm going to be doing my spring 2023 decor haul. I'm so excited to share this stuff with you guys. I think my decor for this year is so beautiful. I am so excited. I wanted to start out by showing kind of just some new decor that's gonna be like everyday type decor. And I wanted to start with a piece that I've already showed in a previous video, but if you're new to my channel and you're just clicking on this video for the first time, then you haven't seen this before. <laughs> I did get this very large um, distressed dough bowl at a local consignment shop. It was $64 and it was from Salt and Light Consignments. I'm totally in love with this thing and the reason I'm showing it to you is because a little bit later when I get into the florals, I'll kind of give you, um, I'll be referring back to this dough bowl so I wanted to show it <laughs> because whenever I'm talking about the big dough bowl, this is what I'm talking about. This dough bowl is also from Salt and Light Consignments and this is the small dough bowl. <laughs> if I talk about the small dough bowl, then this is the one I'm talking about. It's also very beautiful and very weathered looking and I love it so much. Here is a new everyday decor piece that I'm very excited about. I found this at Bell's Outlet and it was $19.99 and I actually did originally purchase this to go on the dining table but that was before I found the other one but I do love this and I think I'm going to use it on my island but I wanted to include that because it is a new piece of decor that I'm going to use to freshen up the house for spring. I found this at a local place downtown and I cannot remember the name of the shop but I will link their socials and I'll um I'll include the link because I did get two items from this shop and I love it so much this was I believe $26 but it really does look like something you would find at an antique store that's why I was just like totally in love with it I think what I'm going to do with this is put it in my window in the kitchen if you've been here for a while, you know I have that black double in the kitchen, so I'm going to replace the black double with this one. I'm so excited about it. This one is extremely heavy. Well, not, this one's not extremely heavy, but um, it's very heavy, and the double is very light. And you know me, I have four cats, and they love to jump up on the window and knock down my double with all my decor in it. So hopefully this will help with that. I don't think they'll be able to knock this one down as easily. Of course, they're probably still gonna get to the decor that's in it, but this one I think will be a lot harder for them to knock over. Another piece of everyday decor that I found at Hobby Lobby is this big cutting serving board. I love it so much. I love this wood tone, it's like my favorite. I'm actually gonna be placing this one on my kitchen counter and it's gonna be taking the place of those three cutting boards that I had behind the little treat stand. And those, actually you can see those behind me on the hutch. I actually placed those on the hutch whenever I found this because I did sell the lighter color ones that I used to have on the hutch. And I'm very excited about this one because I'm totally over like the whitewashed wood and the light tones of wood and I want more like medium to dark tones of wood. I think it's really like, I think it really adds a lot of warmth to my home and I love it so much. Continuing on with decor that is everyday type decor, I have these three tapered candlesticks from Hobby Lobby. Let's see if I can hold them all up at the same time. But these are so pretty. These were from Hobby Lobby and I love these. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them yet. I have an idea that I might put them in the entryway. 
but I definitely love these and I think these are going to be a great everyday decorating piece for me because I love candle holders. I love any kind of candles, any kind of candle holders. Just love them. I do actually have some more new ones to show you, but um, the large one was $26.99. And I honestly think these are gonna be beautiful year round. I'm so excited to see what they look like for Christmas because I've already got lots of plan for vintage Christmas decor. And I know these are gonna be so beautiful. So the large one was $26.99 and I did get them half off. So I did get half off of that price. The medium one was $22.99 and then the small one was $19.99. So again, I did get half off of these. But I love these so much and I feel like these are just, I'm including them in spring decor because I'm going to use them again to just freshen up my decor, but they're going to be an everyday decor piece. So I wanted to just include them in the beginning with my everyday decor pieces. So for those taper candles, I got these candles and then I got these because these are the ones I wanted, but they only had one more and it was broken. So I did grab these just in case I didn't have time to go find another one of these. But I do have more candles, so I can just stick these in the other candles if I need to. But I love the color of both of these. These are just like a lighter muted pink, and then these are that darker muted pink. And I think they're so pretty. I definitely love the twisted taper candles. I think they're so pretty, and I know they're very trendy right now. And I can see why, because they're so cute. They just add so much more character and detail. Another everyday decor piece is this little vintage pitcher that I actually found at a consignment shop. I do not remember how much it was. The price tag is no longer on it, but I want to say it was really cheap. It was like, I don't know, between three and six dollars. I can't remember for sure, but I definitely, it was one of those things I saw and I was like, oh, this is coming home with me. And I love it so much. I think it is just the cutest thing. I already actually used it to decorate my hutch here in the dining room, but for spring, I was thinking about putting some little buds in it. I thought that might be cute, some little flower buds, because I did also find some. I did also find some little bud vases at the same consignment shop. This one does still have the price tag on it. It was $2 and I believe this one was also $2. I think these are just the cutest, coolest little vintage pieces. I, I definitely love the brass pieces. They're definitely my favorite and I think they'll look so beautiful. I found these salt and pepper shakers and I know I said I was not gonna get new salt and pepper shakers for the seasons, but I saw these at the same um, little boutique downtown that I found that tray. And I thought these were just the cutest little things. And they were only $14.99 and I was like, that is such a good price. And I honestly feel like these will be so cute for spring, but also for fall because of the colors. So I think I'm going to, I may just use them year round. So that's why I'm including them in the beginning of the video because I may just have these in on the dining table or on the island year round because they are just too cute. I love the little print on them. I think they are just so, so pretty. From that same consignment shop that I got the little pitcher and the little rosebud vases, I did find this silver pitcher. And this was, I believe it was cheap. It was like, I think it was $8. And it's actually silver. It looks like it was painted to look bronze, but it did say silver pitcher on it. And what drew me to it is the legs on it. I thought it was so pretty. And I was thinking for spring and of course for any season, I could just get some florals or some stems to put out the top of this. And I thought that would just add a little bit of a touch to the house for whatever season I'm decorating for. So I think this is a great staple piece for my decorating. So I have this, which is actually from my bedroom. And if you recognize this, I got the, um, the flowers was actually from a piece of art from Hobby Lobby. And I actually got this frame from Goodwill for $1.99. And I tore the art off of the Hobby Lobby frame and put it in this gold frame. And I love it so much more now, but I think this is so cute for spring decor. Isn't that just adorable? And so I have this up in my bedroom, so I'm probably going to pull it out of my bedroom and use it for spring decor. And then I'll use it in my bedroom for year round decor because I think the flowers on it are so beautiful, but I love it in the gold frame. It just looks so much better now. I do believe this is my last everyday type decor piece. This is something I actually bought for my spring decor, but I've already used it in my kitchen decorating in my tiered tray. And I think this is gonna be an everyday decor piece because I love the dimples on it, or they're not really dimples, but you know what I mean. And then the gold lid and the scent is cozy vanilla. So it really gives like fall vibes. Yeah, it definitely gives 
fall <laughs> definitely gives fall vibes i got this from bed bath and beyond and it was i think 18 dollars originally but our bed bath and beyond is closing down so i got it half off and i definitely love it i don't know if i'll ever light it because it's such a pretty candle but actually yes i will light it because whenever the candle is burnt out how cute whoops <laughs> Um, anyways, how cute would this be as like a little canister whenever the candle is burned out? I have to fix it now. <laughs> Technical difficulties. I probably won't even edit this part out. <laughs> anyways, I thought this was a cute candle and I was very excited to find this. <laughs> Moving on to spring decor. I found this also at Bed Bath & Beyond and it was also on clearance because again, ours is closing. It's a little teapot. It does have a little bit of texture on it and it has this little woven detail, which I just thought this was the cutest thing. It honestly could work year round, but I thought it was the cutest thing for spring decor and it definitely gives that kind of vintage cottage feel. So I love this so much. I'm so excited to see what I can do with this one. I also found this little bud vase that I'm gonna use for my spring decorating at that same consignment shop. Don't remember how much it was. I should really keep up with things, but it has a gold rim and it has roses. I do remember that this one was like marked down. I remember looking at it and wondering like why nobody had bought it yet where it had to be marked down. I think it was $4. I don't remember how much it was originally, but I remember there being like a cross through the original price and like a four written in. So I think that's how much this one was because I just thought it was so pretty and I was like, how come nobody has bought this yet? I'm definitely gonna buy this for my spring decorating. I love the rose detail on it. I think it's so pretty and it honestly could work for Valentine's Day as well. I figured since I was talking about that consignment shop, I might as well just keep on doing the things I found at that same consignment shop. Shout out to them. They're a place here in town and it's called For Forgotten Things and Stuff. That's what it's called, Forgotten Things and Stuff. And this is so silly, but since I started thrifting, you guys are gonna think I'm so lame for this, but since I've started thrifting, I've made a list on my little notepads on my phone of all the places in town that um actually i've been to them all and i made a little list and i have a little guide that i put a yellow heart next to the ones that are like okay like i'm probably gonna go back if i'm looking for something particular but they're not my favorite and then i put a pink heart with little sparkles next to my favorite one and this one definitely has a pink heart with sparkles because i found some great stuff there and i can't wait to go back but this was a part of my spring decor that i found there and it's just this little like serving board. I thought this was so cute. It definitely gives that cottage feel as well. And it's got butterflies and strawberries and it's got gold around the rim. This was another find that I can't remember the price on, but I definitely, it was very affordable. So I'll show you um, so far all the things that I've gotten from there. I have a few more things that I haven't showed yet, but I'll show those next. And I spent a total of $100 and I got a lot of stuff. Like I got a lot of stuff. You've seen already all the stuff I've showed, but I've still got a couple more big things that I got from that same shop. And maybe even a couple of things that are not included in this haul because they weren't so much spring decor, but I got a lot of stuff for $100. And especially for it being a consignment shop with like these vintage pieces and antique pieces. I just love this. I think it's so cute. I, I'm very into the butterflies this year. That's something I've noticed. So from that same consignment shop, I did also find these candle holders. I do have small, medium, and large, and I put these pink candles on them just for the haul so I could show them off, but I think these are so beautiful. <laughs> I think they're so beautiful. They've got lots of detail on them. So this is the small one. They've kind of got like gold and whitewash. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them this color or paint them. Um, I bought them with intentions of painting them. But now that I'm looking at them with all my spring decor, they really go well with everything. But you guys know that I'm starting to get out of like the farmhouse and the whitewashed kind of look to things, but these do not look farmhousey to me. So I might just keep them the way they are. Let me know what you think. I think they're beautiful. They've got lots of detail on them. And I told Lewis that honestly, I mean, they came from a consignment shop. Um, I don't think they're vintage, like to me. I mean, they could be, but I really, don't think they're necessarily old or vintage. I think they're like, they look like they came from a place like Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something to me, but they're very pretty. So, you know, of course, if I'd have seen these at Michaels, I'd have bought them. So I did get these, the set of three for $30, which is pretty typical for a set of candle holders, in my opinion. Um, that's a little bit below what you would pay at like Michaels, Hobby Lobby. 
I think these are so pretty. I love the detail on them. That was like what drew me to them. Not so much the color because I was thinking I could change the color if I wanted to, but now I'm thinking maybe I won't because I like them. <laughs> okay, I think, I think this is the last thing from that consignment shop. I saw this, it was $22. I saw this and I was like, I've got to have that for my spring decor. And it also could work for Valentine's Day. It does look hand painted, so it is silver on the bottom. It's definitely hand painted. Um, it's silver on the bottom. It's got the beautiful legs. I almost kind of wish it was still silver, but I love the color. And let me know in the comments if you think this too, but this just looks like something from the Michaels Spring Collection, but I love it. It's definitely a piece of silver that somebody, it's a piece of silver serveware that somebody hand painted. And I love the muted pink color and the white washing on it. I think it is so pretty. I love this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I saw it and I was like, that is pretty. I want that. <laughs> so this is the last thing I believe from that consignment shop that I found. So I found these napkins at TJ Maxx and you've already seen these before. If you watch like all my videos, <laughs> then you've already seen these in one of my shopping videos because I did find these at TJ Maxx on one of my shopping trips. But I love these blue and pink napkins. I think they're so pretty. And I did also find another item that I'm very excited I'm going to show you next that matches these. So I'm going to show you those really quick. Okay, also from TJ Maxx, look at this. Isn't this so cute? I'm like totally in love with this. It is a set of dish soap, cleaner, and hand soap. And it is that beautiful blue color that I love for spring. This was $9.99 for the set. It also comes with like a gold little like tray holder thingy um i'll probably end up putting them on my little marble tray that i already have over there but i thought this was so cute and it's got little butterflies i think that is just the cutest thing so keep it on with tj maxx don't worry i'll get to the florals very soon i was actually gonna start with the florals but then i don't know i don't even know if this video is gonna make sense hopefully it does it's like midnight <laughs> that's the only if you follow me on Instagram, just a little side note, you know that we've been sick lately and it's been one thing after another and I'm just doing this whenever I have time. We're actually leaving for Disney on Sunday where nobody's sick anymore, everybody's better, but it's like one thing after another and when it rains it pours. So I'm like, the girls are sleeping. I did my hair and makeup really quick. I'm gonna film these hauls and get them done and get them up before we go to Disney. So just bear with me. I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. I hope you still enjoy it, but um, Aside from that, these were from TJ Maxx. If you watched my St. Patrick's decor, you saw that I used the green ones. So I did get the dark pink and the light pink for spring. And I think these are so cute on my little treat stand back there. I know a lot of you guys like my little treat stands, but I think these look so cute and they add a pop of pink. Very easy to decorate with, very affordable, totally adorable. So I guess I'll keep on with TJ Maxx since I'm already doing all the TJ Maxx stuff. So we'll just keep on with that. I found this butterfly. It was $6.99 at TJ Maxx. You know, I love the butterflies this year. I don't know what it is about them for spring, but I see a butterfly and I want it. <laughs> so I've got more butterfly items that I'll show you, but this was one of my favorites. It's like a wooden one and it's that beautiful dark tone wood that I love. And another thing I wanted to add, I'll show another butterfly, but another thing I wanted to add really quick is that these like wooden items like this, like the butterflies and the flowers, I've got some flowers over there that I'll show you. They're like whitewashed wood butterflies. Um, I have lots of wood hearts from Valentine's Day. And whenever we redo the girls' room, I think I'm gonna use these in their room year round. So these are really doubling as year round decor because I think I'm gonna do some shelves in their room and use like the butterflies and the flowers and the hearts. And that way it'll give it like kind of a, I'm going for like an anthropology, like a girly teen, preteen kind of anthropology room um, with like touches of boho. And I think these will bring in the boho element with like the wood and the, um, the texture on some of the hearts that I have from Valentine's Day. I'm very excited about that. So um, yeah, this was like spring decor and to decorate my daughter's room. So I'm very excited. So I'm gonna show you the other one now. So here is the other one. And isn't this just so cute? This was also TJ Maxx and it was also $6.99. But again, how cute is that for a little girl's room? Like they're growing up and I know that like um, everything bright and colorful um, is not really their thing anymore, but I still want to add like some fun little flowers and butterflies to their room, but I also love this for spring. So I thought I couldn't go wrong with this. And then if I ended up not using it, I'll just use it in their room. So I'm definitely excited about that. And this is another thing. I actually found this recently at TJ Maxx. It was $7.99. I love the gold frame. 
and the little butterflies. And I honestly love, I know it says made in Thailand on it, but I might just keep this in here. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll actually put a picture in it or I might just keep this in here because it's really pretty. <laughs> Obviously, I'll take the tag off, but I just thought about how cute this would be in their room too with the little butterflies and the gold frame. This would be super cute for a little girl's room. <laughs> Another TJ Maxx find that I'm so thrilled about. I love this tray. It's like a tray. It has little legs on it. This was $14.99 at TJ Maxx. Not sure exactly where I'm gonna put it yet, but I figured I couldn't go wrong with this because I love this brass gold color, champagne gold, whatever, whatever this is, I love it. <laughs> and I figured I could either use it as a tray or set it up against something because it could like lean up against a wall or um, the hutch or maybe even like with that new cutting board, I could set it up against it. I thought that would be really cute and I love butterflies. So I'm very excited about this. And I just thought about this, y'all. <laughs> You're going to think I'm so lame. I promise it's like midnight and I'm delirious. That's what it is. This will be so cute in their room, like on their dresser to like, I don't know, put jewelry in or little like little hair bows. That would be so cute. Now I'm excited to do their room. I'm going to have to like do that as soon as we get back from Disney. <laughs> but um, very excited about this. Also from TJ Maxx, I found this little vase and these flowers and this was $12.99. And this was like one of the first things I bought for spring 2023 decor. And I thought it was so pretty. I love the colors. I don't know what draws me to like the pinks and the oranges and the blues, but I love it. And you'll see in my florals that I've got lots of like pinks and like orangey pinks and blues. So I love that and I'm very excited. I think this is the last thing from TJ Maxx, but if not, then I will look around and make sure. But this candle was $9.99. And it smells so good. It smells exactly like the shampoo and soap that they give you at Disney World, like at the resort. So that's why I bought it. But it's also a very pretty pink color and I'm going to use it in my spring decorating. Also just thought about how cute this would be in the girls room. <laughs> now I'm like, I've got their room makeover on the brain. I don't know. I guess all this cute girly floral decor has gotten me want to redo their room, which I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that. And it says, you're doing great, babe. <laughs> I needed that little pep talk because I have been wearing myself thin lately, trying to take care of everybody and take everybody to the doctor and whew, doing all this stuff for everybody. So I needed that little motivation. <laughs> also from TJ Maxx, I did find this little vase with these little florals in it. I think this is so pretty. And this was $7.99. So also from TJ Maxx, I did get this wreath and I love it so much. This was $24.99. I don't know what it is about this color pink, but I love it so much. I think that is my favorite shade of pink and I think it is gorgeous. So I'm excited about this because I'm actually going to decorate for spring. I'm not quite ready for the bunnies yet. So I'm gonna decorate for spring and then I'm just going to add Easter touches. I'm actually gonna film my Easter haul right after this. Um, and those are, I think, I think they might be separate videos. I'm not sure yet. And maybe all one video, we'll see. But I love this because it's going to stay up all throughout the Easter and spring um, decor because I think it's so beautiful. And then after Easter's over, then I'll probably just like pull the bunnies out and leave my spring decor up until I'm ready to decorate for summer. So I'm really excited about that because last year I did it a little bit different. I did all my spring and Easter all in one and then... We actually moved last year, so it was a little bit more complicated last year, but I'm really excited about this. I think this is so pretty. I did forget to show this. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond, and this was originally $2.99, but it was on clearance or half off, so it was $1.50, and I thought this was really cute. They only had one. I wish they'd have had more, but oh my gosh, I was just thinking, how cute would this have been on those white washed like gold candle holders that would have been so pretty, but I only have one. But anyways, I'm going to use this somewhere. I think it's so pretty. It's like a light pink color. Perfect for spring. Okay, this is the last thing from Bed Bath & Beyond. And I think this was originally 24, 30. I think it was on sale for like 12 or 15. I can't remember for sure, but I thought this was really pretty. And it's kind of like, it kind of looks like it's got water in it, but it's not. Um, but I thought this was pretty. I think I'm gonna put it on my coffee table for spring. I love the colors. I love the muted pink. I think this is beautiful. And honestly, I could use this for Valentine's Day as well, but I love this. <laughs> so we're just gonna finish up the last couple of decor pieces and then we'll move on to florals. So I found these at Ross and the large one was $6.99. The medium one was $5.99 and the small one was $4.99. 
And again, these will be so cute on my daughter's bedroom to decorate their shelves with. I think that like all these little girly things would be so pretty. So I definitely love these. I love that they had three of them because whenever I saw, I think I saw this one first and I thought it was cute. And you know, I love like the, the wood look to things and I thought it was cute, but I was like, mm, I kind of passed on it, but then I saw another one and I was like, okay, there's a set. Maybe I should get them because then I could use them in the girls' room as well, decorate for spring and then use them in the girls' room. Then I saw a third one. I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting all three of them. So so I ended up getting these. I think they're super cute. Um, whenever my decor style started to kind of shift more into like vintage decor, I was a little nervous that I wouldn't be able to incorporate a lot of the spring and Easter decor pieces that I've already purchased for this year because I was still kind of trying to find my decor style and I was also a little bit of that and a little bit of trying to match them with things I already had. But I don't know, I'm looking at all, I'm looking at all of it on the table and I'm thinking it looks really good together. So hopefully I can just make it work. And you know, as I, I've purged a lot of stuff, I'm working on trying to purge a lot of my farmhouse stuff. That way I can make room for my thrifty finds and my more vintage looking decor. So we'll see where this goes. The last couple pieces of decor I have um, that are not florals are these from Hobby Lobby. Um, so I got these baskets. Um, these were originally $34.99 each, but they were half off, so it was $34.99 for both of them. And <laughs> you're gonna think I'm crazy, but hear me out. So my idea with these was to hang them on my cabinets on each side of my window um, and put some flowers in them. I don't know if it's gonna look right. I did try it out and I'm not sure if I love it or hate it. Like it's, I mean, I actually like, I looked at it and I was like, oh, I love it. And then I looked at it again, I was like, do I love it? But we're gonna see, but, um, so if I don't end up using them, then I'll probably still keep them because they look vintage and I love them. I feel like they go with a lot of my other newer decor. But then I got these from the Easter section to go as backup for my little cabinets because I was thinking these might be cute to hang up there and maybe even like put some little floral uh, buds on them just to add a little bit of color to them and these were only $4.99 each but they were also 40% off and I love the tone of like the color of these I think they're so pretty so these are just backup but also if I end up using the baskets, then these would be cute just to um, add a little bit of spring and Easter to existing decor, like set them up against something or set them behind something. They'll add a little bit more of that spring touch. Okay, we have tons of florals, lots and lots of florals. So I'm gonna like pull these apart and show you one by one, but I wanted to show you like all the new florals. And I already have some kind of like this and other vases and some, but I got, these are all the new florals. I do have some more over there, but these are like the stems that I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna pull them apart and show them one by one. Okay, so first we have like this orangey pink color. These were, well actually I'm looking at the tags and some of them are marked $5.99 and some are $7.99, which they're the same. So I think they just had a price increase and maybe they were a few that just hadn't had that price increase yet, but this was the first one I got. And I love this color. I love this, like, it's almost like a muted pink. It's just got that orangey tint to it. And I will, actually I'm looking at this rugs that I got and I forgot to show those, but they match these new little kitchen rugs that I got. And I'll show those after the florals. I'm so sorry if this haul is just all over the place. Just bear with me. But these are so pretty. I love these. I'm so excited. Not sure where I'm gonna put what yet. I think I'm just gonna wait till I'm decorating and see what is fitting the vibe and go with that. So I'm gonna show you the other ones next. So I also have this darker pink, kind of muted pink. And again, some of these are marked $5.99 and some are $7.99, but I also did get these white ones. And these are, looks like all of these are marked $7.99. And these are all from Hobby Lobby. All of my florals are Hobby Lobby, if I didn't mention that already. I love like the gathered look of these. Like they look like just like wildflowers. I love them and they're so realistic looking. I've seen a lot of YouTubers decorate with these. I definitely wanted to get some for spring. I feel like I've never really been much of a floral and stem type decorator until recently. And I don't know why, because they make such an impact. Like they make the space look so beautiful and it's so inexpensive in a way. Like, I mean, it can get expensive of course, but I love the colors of these. So I'll show you the other ones that I have really quick. So I have these, these are some of my favorite little stems. I love these blue ones. I actually kind of, um, I picked these up and then I put them back and then I regretted not getting them. So I went a different day and I did get them because I was like, 
these are so pretty and I'm so glad now because I'm gonna show you those rugs but they match the rugs um and then I have these from Hobby Lobby and these are more of like a pinky like muted pink kind of tone I do have some more of these throughout my house that are more of like a brown kind of tone they don't have so much of a peachy pink and then um so these were $5.99 and these were $6.99 in the floral section but they do run the half off so you can get them half off but I'm really excited to use these. I feel like these are great for like these little bud vases. Um, I can cut some out and stick them in these little bud vases, which is gonna be perfect for that because if you watched my kitchen makeover, I used them in my tear tray and they looked so cute. So I wanna do that for these little bud vases. But I do have a couple more florals to show you. So I'll show you those and then I'm gonna show you the rugs. And I think that's it for spring decor. And I'm sorry, this video is not like very professional. I feel like my hauls tend to not be very professional and I apologize, I'm trying to get better. But I'm gonna show you the other florals really quick. So here is the last of my florals. I have this, um, I actually have two of these. They were $18.99 and I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna use these to fill up that big dough bowl. And I think I'm gonna stick like some um more florals i actually bought these to do that with i have white yellow and pink so i was gonna like pick these apart and stick them in here i think to add some color and then for easter i wanted to add like a big bunny in the middle and maybe some eggs i thought that would be really pretty and i'm gonna show you the rugs really quick but i wanted to mention that i'm so sorry that a majority of this video is like i don't know what happened with my tripod I, my phone actually died and then i watched back like a bulk of my footage in the camera tripod had like gotten messed up so I apologize I was gonna refilm but my phone I let it charge a little bit it I let it charge for a while and turns out it wasn't charging I think because I record with my phone and I think that um my charger has a short or something so I just really want to get this done because it is late I have to take the girls to school so I apologize in advance I was gonna refilm just know that I was gonna refilm the whole thing but since my phone was not charging the entire time and I, we're leaving for Disney on Sunday. It's been one thing after another. I, I hope that it does not bother you or make you wanna click off the video. I really hope it doesn't, but I'm gonna show the rugs and then I think that'll be it for my spring decor. I'm just gonna show one because they are the same, but I got these rugs and they literally look like they're woven vintage rugs, but they were just from Ross. One is a runner and then the other one is like just a, regular size not a runner but like a area a small area rug and the smaller one was $9.99 and the bigger one was $11.99 I believe um and I'm gonna use those in my kitchen I thought these colors were so pretty for spring and then again I love that it looks like a vintage woven rug I thought that was so pretty and it matches all my florals and I'm so excited about it hey y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Tori and I'm going to be doing my Easter 2023 decor haul in today's video if you watched my previous decor haul, it was a spring decor haul. So that decor will be used on top of this decor for Easter. I will already have my spring decor video up live before this one. I do believe that's how I'm gonna do it. So in addition to the spring decor, I will be adding in the bunnies for my Easter decor. So I'm going to show you what I got for this year. So starting with what I got from TJ Maxx, I did find these beautiful gold bunnies. I love these so much. I love how they look vintage and they were made in India. This one was $6.99 and I love that it looks vintage. Like it looks like something that you would find while you're at a thrift shop or antiquing and I love that about it. I also got this little gold bunny that kind of looks like that one but it's a little bit of a different shape. This one was also $6.99 and I also found, I love this. I think this is my favorite piece of my Easter decor this year. This one was $14.99 and I just love this. I love the little bunny and the basket and he looks like he's kind of like just looking out of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I do have a few ideas but I'm definitely excited about this. I think this is going to be something I have forever. I love this piece of decor. It is definitely my favorite Easter decor piece I think I've ever owned. Maybe I'm being dramatic but I love it. <laughs> I did also find this little gold bunny. This was only $4.99 also from TJ Maxx. And it does have like a little bit of a brighter gold. I like the more toned down like brassy gold, but this is okay. I think I'm gonna use it in a tear tray. I think it is so pretty. And I think it would be really cute for my tear tray. 
So the next thing from TJ Maxx was this bunny. I love this bunny. So it has like the design on this side, but it also has this side that doesn't have any design on it. So you could use it either way, but I definitely love the design on it. This was $12.99 and I thought this was so pretty and it definitely goes with the boho style in my opinion. I think it is so beautiful. And of course these flowers just look so pretty for spring and I love the butterfly. I'm super into the butterflies this year. If you watched my spring decor haul or my spring decorate, you can see I'm totally into the butterflies this year. I think they're so pretty and I'm so excited about this. Another TJ Maxx find that I'm really excited about is this bunny. This was $7.99 and I absolutely love the colors in this one. It also does have some gold. And then it's that pretty medium wood tone that I love. I definitely love this bunny. I think it is so pretty. And it also really goes with like the boho style in my opinion. I think it is so cute. Another bunny that I found at TJ Maxx is this one. I think this one is so cute. He's so neutral. I feel like this is definitely something I'll have forever because no matter what decor style, I think this one will definitely go with it. This one was $12.99, which I feel like these bigger bunnies for $12.99 is a really good deal. I feel like I was expecting to look and see like $16.99 or even $19.99 on some of these. There was actually a big gold bunny that was like this color and he was $19.99 and I did not grab him and I so regret not grabbing him because I never saw him again and that's definitely something I'm going to be on the lookout for next year if they re-release that one. I love it and I wish I got it but um, I do love this big bunny. Another TJ Maxx find is this white dimply bunny. I think this is so pretty. This one was only $9.99. This was actually my first thing that I found this year for Easter. It was way too soon to be shopping for Easter, but I saw this guy and I was like, I need to get this because it's so cute. I love the dimples on it. I think it's so pretty and I'm definitely excited about it. I have another wood bunny. This one was only $6.99 and I love this tone wood. I have a lot of items that are this medium toned wood, so it's gonna go really well. And I think it's so cute and so boho, and it'll definitely match with a lot of my stuff. Here is another one of the bunnies that I found at TJ Maxx, and this one was only $5.99. And I also really love this neutral bunny. Here is another bunny. As you can see, I have lots of bunnies, mostly bunnies and eggs, because I have lots of spring decor that I'm honestly just gonna put the bunnies in. I might rearrange the spring decor a little bit depending on how I'm feeling, but I'm gonna be adding in the bunnies for my Easter decor. This one is so pretty. It looks like it has some like almost like vintage looking flowers on it, almost like a vintage wallpaper and some little birds. I think this is so pretty. I also found this bunny and it's kind of like a whitewashed wood and this one was only $4.99. And it's really cute, but it's honestly not my favorite. I think it was a little bit of an impulse buy because it was when I really first started putting Easter stuff out and it was only $4.99. So I was like, oh, it's only $4.99. I'm gonna grab this, but it's still really cute. I do love it and I think it'll go good on my shelves. Also from TJ Maxx, I found this beautiful floral bunny. This one's so pretty. It's kind of like a ceramic material and it's of course got these beautiful florals on it. This one was $7.99. And I thought this was so pretty, but I also really love the colors on it. I think it's gonna look so good with my spring decor because I have lots of these florals in like pinks and orangey pinks and some blue, just pops of blue. And I think this will be beautiful with that. I also found these bunnies at TJ Maxx. The small one was $6.99 and the larger one was only $7.99. And I really love these, but the reason I bought these, and you'll see a little bit later, I did get some pillows that match so well with these. And honestly, this is not something I would have went for in the past, but I think whenever I saw those pillows, I was just totally in love with them. And I saw these and they match with them. So one thing led to another and I brought these home with me, but I'm looking at them and I definitely love them. I think they just remind me of something from like anthropology with the patterns and the colors. So I think that's why I love them so much, but I'm definitely excited to see what I can do with them. Just a couple more things from TJ Maxx. I did find this egg and this was only $5.99. And this is so pretty. I love the colors on it. I definitely feel like it goes with my more boho style decor. And it's kind of got like a matte finish to it. And I love the pink. I think that the flowers are really pretty. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this out with my spring decor 
or if I'm gonna wait for my Easter decorating. I'll more than likely wait because it's more of an Easter item because it's like an egg. But I definitely love this. And then I have one other egg from TG Maxx that I also really love and it's this one. This one was only $6.99 and I love that it kind of looks like a woven, like almost like a rattan, but it's an egg and I thought that was so cute. And I also thought this would go really well with my decor. Also from TJ Maxx, I found these eggs and they have gold on them. These were only $6.99 and these are absolutely perfect for my decor because they have gold and I love the colors. I love the blue and pink. That is definitely what I was leaning towards this year. Blues and pinks was definitely my favorite whenever it came to spring decorating, but I'm so excited to see how I use these. I think I'm going to put them in the dough bowl, but I'm not 100% sure. I may put them somewhere else, but we'll see. So these were actually from Marshalls. I did get these sequin eggs. I got a bag with like blue, purple, pink, and then more like teals and blues. And I thought these were really pretty for like a dough bowl. And I also found the famous pink bunny. I feel like a lot of people have been asking about the pink bunny. And this was also from Marshalls. Oh, if I didn't mention, the eggs were $12.99 each. And then the big pink bunny was $19.99. But I think that the pink might be a little too pink for me. So I'm probably going to be using the big pink bunny on the wood side, which I think is really... I think it's really cool how they have like the groove in the ear where you can use it on the wood side or the pink side. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to use it on the wood side, but we'll see. I think like I said, the pink might just be a little too bright for me and my newer decor <laughs> doesn't really go well. But again, I've mentioned this before that I started buying my Easter and spring decor before I started trying to figure out what my new style was and it was leaning more towards like vintage. So these kind of go a little bit more with that like farmhouse kind of boho decor, but we are going to work with it and we're going to see what we can do. And then I also found this little pink bunny at TJ Maxx and it was $5.99 and I thought the sequins on it were really cute, but also you could decorate with the wood side. And again, it's that medium toned wood that I really love. I don't know why I love these little sequin items so much. I think they're so pretty. I don't know what it is about them, but I love them. I think they're just the cutest thing. Also from TJ Maxx, I got these little eggs. These were $14.99 and they do have kind of like a boho kind of pattern on them. I did actually open them, so I'll show you one up close. So they do have kind of a pattern on them. It looks like it's painted on there more so than engraved. But I think these are so pretty, especially with that one bunny I have with the um, pattern on it. I think these will be really pretty with that. I did get a couple of pillows from TJ Maxx and Ross, but I'm gonna finish up the table type decor and then I'll show the pillows. But moving on to Ross, I only got a couple of things from Ross. Um, I did find these and I think they're so pretty. So I have an egg and a bunny. These were $5.99. Oh, this one was $5.99. This one was actually $6.99. But I think these are so cute. I have a lot of these items that are like wooden and then have the pattern on them. I use them a lot for Valentine's Day. So I thought they were really pretty. So I decided to use some for spring and Easter as well. But I think these are so cute. And I think that's all I got from Ross. I did get some pillows and I'll show those in just a little bit. So from Target, I found this little bunny and isn't it so, isn't this so cute? It was $5 in the Target dollar spot and I just love this. I feel like this is something that I will probably have for a long time because I love the neutral rattan look to it and I think it is so cute. I think this would go really good in my kitchen with like the new kind of boho vibe we have going in there. I think this will look so cute in there. Also from the Target dollar spot, I did grab these little bunnies. These were only $3 and I love these. I've always wanted to get some of these little green bunnies, but I feel like I could never stand touching them. Like the texture of them, it was just a no for me. But these from Target are so soft, like they don't bother me to touch them. So I saw these and I picked them up. I was thinking they were going to be like the really rough feeling ones, but they're actually really soft and I actually don't mind the feeling of these. They do feel kind of cheap, so I'm not sure how they'll hold up over the years, but we'll see. I think they're so cute and I'll probably keep them as long as I can because I just think they're beautiful. 
I did also find a couple sets of these so I will show you what they look like out of the package. I did get a couple sets. They were five dollars for a set of two and this is what they look like out of the package. Aren't they so stinking adorable? I just love these. I think they're so cute. These are perfect perfect for a tiered tray and perfect for like my style and the stuff the decor that I'm really into right now I think these are so perfect and I love them I actually went on the hunt for these because I didn't see them the first couple of times I went to look at Easter decor in the Target dollar spot finally they have them and I grabbed a couple of sets and I love them so much I can't wait to decorate with them so from Target I did get a couple sets of these neutral wooden eggs these were three dollars each and it comes with six. So for $6, you get 12 eggs. And I'm going to use these somewhere, probably in a dough bowl. But I think these are so adorable as well. The last thing I got from Target was this little candle. And honestly, probably should have included this in my spring decor haul. Because I'll probably use it for my spring decorating. But it was $3. And the scent is Raspberry Patch. And to me, it kind of smells like sweet tarts. Like if you ever ate sweet tarts, that's what it smells like to me. And it smells really good, but I thought it was really cute. It's kind of got like a, almost like a woven basket texture, but it's that pretty pink color. And I love it. So that was all from Target. So I'm going to show you the pillows really quick. So I did get two of these. These were from TJ Maxx and they were $19.99. And if you watched my shopping video where I bought these, you could see that I was like absolutely in love with them. And I even said that they really didn't go with my style a little bit. Like... They didn't really go with my decor or my style, but I like can't, couldn't stop thinking about them. And that was a few weeks ago and I do not regret buying them. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they really give me like anthropology vibes. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think it's like the colors and I don't know, like the like texture on it. They just remind me of anthropology and I love anthropology. I love everything from anthropology, but I definitely love these and I'm so glad I bought them. I do not regret it at all. I can't wait to see what everything looks like all put together. Hopefully it turns out good. Usually it does, but we'll see. I think, I think it'll turn out good, but I love these and the pillows I got from Ross. So I'll show those really quick. So I did get two of these as well. And these complement those other pillows in my opinion. It's not quite the same color blue or the same color teal, but it does complement. Like I put them together and they look so pretty together, especially with the existing pink pillows I have on my couch for Valentine's Day and spring. And these were only $10.99 and I thought these were so cute. I definitely wanted some bunny shaped pillows and I just love this pattern on them. I think they're so pretty and I'm really excited to decorate with them. Sorry, the dishwasher's going, it's probably loud, but these are a few things that I've picked up since I did film since I filmed the haul. Um, this marble bunny was from Ross and it was $6.99. And this gold bunny is from TJ Maxx. Um, this was $7.99. I thought it was really cute. And then these towels were also from Ross and they were only $4.99. So the thing about these towels is I do love them. I haven't found one that I thought was like absolutely perfect um and I still don't think this one is like absolutely perfect if that makes sense but I love it I love the like the color of the dots and the little bunnies I guess I just like the little brown bunnies this year I think they're so cute and then it came with this one um but yeah I still like that but I wanted to <laughs> include this because these are just a few new little things and since I haven't even edited the video yet I could just throw this clip on top of that video that I've already filmed so that is all of my decor for Easter 2023. I'm not sure exactly how this video is going to be, if this is gonna be a part of the decorating video or if this is gonna be a spring and Easter haul. I don't think I'm gonna do them together, but we'll see how it ends up turning out. Um, I am recording them like at the same time, but I hope you enjoy and I hope you'll stick around for the decorating. And if you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you don't mind, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and comment and let me know what you think. And let me know if you're excited for Easter decorating. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Tori and this is my 2023 spring decorate with me. I'm so excited to share this video with you guys. I love spring. It's one of my favorite times of the year because it starts to get warm and I love all the bright colors and the flowers and I just 
love it i think that this is honestly my favorite decor i've ever done i know i probably say that every time i put out a new decorating video but i'm very excited and i hope you guys are too if you are not already subscribed i would love it if you would hit that subscribe button before you leave and if you don't mind while you're watching today please give me a big thumbs up this really helps boost my channel and i really appreciate it but thank you so much for watching now let's get to decorating Before I get to decorating, I wanted to introduce you guys to one of my sweet friends here on YouTube. Her name is Callie, and she is a mama to two little girls just like me, and she also makes home decor videos, and she has some of the best decor. I absolutely love her channel, and I love her videos, and I know you guys will too, so whenever you're done here, I will have her links in my description. Make sure you pop on over and let her know that I sent you in the comments, and if you are here from Callie's channel, then I'm so glad you're here, and I hope Hope that you enjoy today's video and my name is Tori and I'm a mom to two girls I love to make cleaning and decorating shopping videos pretty much anything home content that's what I love to do and I hope you will consider subscribing and sticking around for more and I really hope you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching
reality Don't want another surprise I'd rather want you to just let me be Oh, oh, oh. what do I know?
my little kitties always love whenever I get new rugs because they love to lay on them. And I don't know what it is about these rugs in the kitchen, but they like to scratch their paws or their claws on them. And they usually do get ruined pretty quickly, but this is my little Violet. She is my sweet baby and she's here playing. And she starts playing with my hand here in just a minute. She is just the cutest thing. I love her so much. <laughs> I just think she's so sweet and she's definitely the sweetest cat. She'll do this little thing whenever I pick her up and you'll see here in a minute she does it. She, I'll pick her up and she'll turn her little head towards me because she knows I like to kiss her right on her head. So she'll turn her little head so I can kiss her. It's so sweet. I love whenever she does that. She's just the sweetest thing. that I could be brave Is there anything good on the radio? Turn it up loud and let me know How we used to be Before anyone heard of you and me Ooh. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling great Fortune's here to stay A one-way ticket to a better day A rocking chair and a glass of wine In the shade of a tree and I'm feeling fine There's not a lot to ask When life is going by so fast One breath away Step up and say
My goal for my decor was to just kind of incorporate little subtle touches of spring, which I think I achieved my goal. I love the way that these little woven um, trays look just stuck up against the books. I think they just add just a small touch of spring and i'm also going to leave them up for easter i think they just add a cute little spring touch it's very subtle but i think it's just so cute and here in a minute you'll see that i place that little butterfly and strawberry serving board with the other books and i think it's just very subtle but if you're like looking for it and you see it with the books it's like oh okay it's cute for spring and that's kind of what i was going for just a little bit more subtle and that way i don't have to switch out everything just add some subtle touches in my everyday decor so that will save me a lot of time and a lot of money because i won't have to switch out every piece but i also was a little bit nervous that it wasn't going to turn out as i thought but i love the way it came out i think everything looks so beautiful and i'm so excited about it
hope you guys have enjoyed this spring decorate with me. You'll have to let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to check out Callie's channel. Again, I will have her links in my description. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you so much for watching y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new in this video i am going to be adding some bunnies to my spring decor for easter 2023 i think it turned out so cute and i'm so excited to share this video with you guys i got the kitchen and dining room decorated and i really love the way the hutch turned out i had originally planned on decorating everything but I didn't make it to the living room or the entryway in this video, so there will be a part two, but I'm also collaborating with one of my sweet friends, and I will talk about her a little bit later, but let's get into this clean and decorate. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you're not already. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for being here, and thank you so much for watching. Oh, that 
on to the dining room i wanted to introduce you guys to one of my very best friends here on youtube her name is lauren yarbrough she is a mom of a sweet little boy his name is oliver and on her channel she loves to do cleaning organizing homemaking she has some of the cutest decor she has a very rustic glam style and she's also going to be adding some easter decor to her bedroom and also her little boy's bedroom he is just the cutest thing look at him <laughs> i think he is just precious i love lauren to death we have become really close friends i value our friendship so much so whenever you guys are done here make sure you pop on over and let lauren know that i sent you and i will have her links in my description and if you're here from lauren's channel then hello my name is tori i'm a mom to twin girls and i also like to make cleaning videos from time to time but mostly i do decor videos homemaking um 
I do shop with bees. I've recently got into thrifting, so I've been doing a lot of thrifting content. So if you guys are interested in that type of content, then I think you'll like it here. And I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and stick around. And I really hope you enjoy today's video. And all the loving that I just ignored, I'm gonna revive it. I found this little frame on one of my recent thrifting trips and it was only two dollars and fifty cents and i thought it was so cute for easter but i honestly think this is going to be a staple decor piece for my spring decorating because i just think it's so precious with the little bunnies i just think it's so cute and i love it so much I also found this little dish on one of my recent thrifting trips and it was marked for a dollar 99 and then i didn't even realize that the tag was highlighted orange which meant it was 75 percent off so i actually didn't even know that i got 75 percent off until i looked at the receipt and saw that i only paid 49 cents for this and i think it is so cute for easter i also found this little honey dipper that i'm about to show 
for 50 cents at a thrift store recently and i just thought that was really cute for spring and i'm just gonna stick that up here on the tear tray because i just thought it was so cute and i'm using these little flower buds to kind of fill in some space and i like the way this tear tray turned out and through the dark and cold was looking a little off so I actually pulled all of my black books down and I like the way it looks without the black books maybe it's because spring is kind of like light and bright and colorful and that's what I was going for with these colorful bunnies and the florals so I pulled all of my black books down and I think I like the way that it looks better now Ooh, the fact that I can reach for the best of myself It's all good When you show the way, yeah I, Even if I fall Ooh, I trust you taking these out because I was having trouble getting the bunny to stay like it wanted to fall over <laughs> but I actually think this is cuter what do you guys think like I think it's cuter without the extra flowers but don't give up just hold on tight it'll be all right your life you've tried to be a good man inside did everything that you thought you should didn't seem to do you any good try to get the entryway and the living room decorated for Easter. Just ignore um, 
nobody really uses these rooms so we kind of just been using this as like storage area for like this is all the girls new room stuff and then this is our new bed and then um we just got some random like decor and garbage right here so just ignore that but i'm gonna decorate this entryway and then i will decorate the living room i don't know which order this video is gonna be in so just bear with me <laughs> so i'm just gonna clean this table really quick but i'm sorry if this video is like so informal so unprofessional <laughs> i know that like a lot of people um like i've been getting comments like that y'all miss my videos and i'm starting to feel a lot better and um this is a very last minute thrown together video i really want to get the rest of my easter decor up because easter is next weekend so i'd really like to get that decor up and enjoy it while i still can so sorry this video is like not my usual like good professional more professional style but I'm just gonna wipe this table down and then I will start decorating this table. So I don't know what order this video is gonna go in, um, but if you haven't seen already, earlier today we went and got the girls um, Easter basket stuff and like some little Easter things. So that will probably, I think the decorating will be first because it's probably gonna be like, the cats are like jumping up on this box. <laughs> this um, video is probably gonna be titled like Easter decorate with me. So I know most of you are probably here for the decor. So I'm gonna put the decorating first and then I don't know if I'm gonna, I'll probably start with the entryway because that's the way I started the video, but I'm gonna decorate the entryway and the living room. So I'll probably start with the decor and then later on, if you're looking for Easter basket ideas, I will have that, just a little bit of shopping. Um, I filmed a couple minutes of like a shopping for the Easter stuff. And then I did a little haul, which the girls were already home from school. Like I said, this is a very thrown together video. I apologize. I hope you guys still enjoy it, but let me clean this table really quick and then I will decorate it. <laughs> By the way, if you've never tried this almond scented method, it's method brand and it's almond scented wood cleaner. It smells so good and it works really good too. Like I just take a wet microfiber cloth and I use it to clean like my table, my coffee table, my entryway table, like any, my hutch, like any wood, our furniture, our bedroom, like literally we use it for everything for all the wood around the house and it works so good. So if you haven't tried it yet, you should definitely try it. <laughs> putting these candle holders back up here because I know I'm going to decorate with these. I don't really know. I don't have a plan. Like I haven't pre-decorated, which I honestly, I do that sometimes. Like I'll just be honest with you. I do pre-decorate sometimes and then I'll kind of take pictures of it. So it just makes it a little bit easier on me when I'm filming and I can kind of play around with it. But I say it's about maybe 50, 50 that I've pre-decorated. And then sometimes I don't pre-decorate. I have not pre-decorated this time. This is very, I've got a burst of energy tonight. So I'm like, I'm going to make a video because it's Easter's next weekend. I need to get this decor up or else I'm not going to get to use it this year. So I've got a burst of energy. So I'm trying to utilize that. So yeah, so I know I'm going to use these. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick these back up here. I don't think I'm going to use this lamp, but I'm going to leave it down there. It's already plugged in. I'm going to leave it down there just in case. Um, I have that base, but I took the flowers out of it. I think I'm going to use something else for right here. I have this that I got at TJ Maxx last year, and it was $19.99. Um, so I think I'm going to use this here for Easter. But I'm not like, like it's cute, but I'm not totally in love with it, you know. So I might end up like trying to sell this on Marketplace or maybe my little yard sale. I don't know, but I kind of like it for Easter. Like, I don't know, it just gives like springy Easter vibes to me. So I think I'm going to use that here. These candles never want to stay like in place. And then Violet is like climbing all over this box that's sitting right here in the entryway. <laughs> so I have a couple of options. I really want to use this pink bunny because I, it was like $20 at Marshall's and I really loved it. And you guys know, like, if you watch my videos, um, you know that, like, I've transitioned kind of away from, like, farmhouse. And I bought this, like, whenever I was still kind of, like, trying to match my farmhouse decor. And, I mean, it kind of, like, it's not, like, super farmhousey, so I guess it would kind of work. But I feel like the pink is, like, a little bit colorful. So I don't know if I want But I also have, but it's cute. Like, it's super Eastery. But then... I'm stuck in my shirt. Um, I also have this that I thrifted. This was 
$2.99, but it may, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if it was $2.99 or if it was half off. It might've been half off, but um, I can't remember, but it's really pretty. It's like a painting and it's got this pretty gold frame. And these colors are definitely giving like spring vibes. So I'm gonna like peel this sticker off and see. I don't know if I wanna use, isn't that pretty? Like, doesn't it look so pretty? It's it's like definitely really pretty for spring. Um, so I don't know if I wanna use this, or maybe, can I use both of them? Cause I think I want the bunny, cause it's Easter. Oh, I can't use both, so I have to pick one or the other. But I could also, whichever one, like, I don't use. Well, if I don't use this, I can use this in the living room on the TV stand. So maybe I'll do that because it kind of ties in, like, my newer kind of style, like, the vintage look to it. I just love these colors. I'm actually use this in the girls' room because they're room makeover. Like, this is kind of the color scheme, like, pink and, like, a little bit of, like, that pink, like, orangey pink and, like, green. That's kind of their vibe that we have going. I really want the pink bunny because it's Easter and I want it to feel Eastery in here. I just want to walk inside and it just feel Eastery. So I'm kind of feeling the pink bunny, which I haven't turned on the wood side. I think it looks like too much to use both of them. Does it look like too much? I don't know. Maybe I stand back and look. So I kind of stood back and looked at it. And I think I like it like with both. Because it's kind of tie in my like my little bit like farmhouse touch with like my like love of like vintage things <laughs> but i also have this little wreath this is from the target dollar spot last year and i don't know if it really goes but i have like a little command hook up here for like wreaths but it'll make it feel very eastery in here is that too much you guys will have to also let me know like I'm having way too much fun with this, like, talking through everything, but this is very different from the style that I normally do. I mean, y'all know I love to talk, but I normally just decorate with, like, music, and I'll probably, like, have some of that in here, like, music in the background, but I don't know. I just feel like talking, so <laughs> you have to let me know if you like the talking style of decorating, or I know some people don't like talking, like, a lot of talking. I'm actually one of those people. I'm not a big fan of, like, it depends. Sometimes I like the talk talky videos, but sometimes I don't. So, you have to let me know if you like the talking, but let's see what else. I don't know if I need, I think the top is good. I think if we do any more, it might be like too much. So, I guess we'll work on the bottom. I feel like anything more on the top is just going to look like too much. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so for the bottom shelf, I have a couple of things. I think I'm going to take this blanket out and just stick this pink one. Oh my gosh the cat hair everywhere <laughs> um just to add a little bit more i wish this blanket was a little bit fluffier i guess i could put like something else in it. make it look a little fluffier that's good um so i'll take that one and put it somewhere and then i also have have this sign which to me this is really farmhousey but it's still really cute and last year I used this side in the kitchen I used the cottontail and co egg farm and it had like the, the eggs which I feel like those colors kind of match um and then the eggs up there they match but I was actually going to use this side but now <laughs> whenever I was thinking about decorating I was going to use this side since I used this side last year but I think this side goes better with because there's eggs up there so I think we need to use this one. And then the wood color, it matches these little hur hurricane candle holders, which I love, by the way. These are from TJ Maxx, and I love these down here. I had a different, like, setup down here before. I really like the way this looks better. But I think that's pretty. I think, I think we're good now. I think everything's pretty. <laughs> so here is the finished product. I do have to move that lamp. Um, I have to unplug it. It's plugged in behind here. But I like the way everything turned out. I feel like it's really pretty. So you have to let me know what you think about the entryway. 
just kind of mix in the two styles together that I kind of have going on around here. <laughs> but I like it. I like that pink blanket there. That really adds. And then the eggs. Very, very Eastery. I think it turned out really, really cute. I have so many plans for like makeovers and one thing I want to do is paint this entryway. Um, I actually just ordered some like cat stuff. <laughs> like we ordered a new litter box and a new like automatic feeder and a new water fountain. And I mentioned in my last shopping video that we were going to do something different in the laundry room with the cat situation. Like their little setup because like it's just not working. Um, so I saw on Lauren Nicholson's video that she had took an entryway table similar to this one and she put like her cat's feeder and little water fountain and stuff and she had like the litter box in the corner. I really love the way that turned out. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm just gonna get a new table to go in the entryway, I think. So this one will probably go in the laundry room against the wall. And then we'll put like the feeder and the water fountain on the bottom shelf and then maybe like a basket full of their toys like next to it and then like the litter box will be and I ordered black so I ordered a black like litter robot and a black feeder and a black water bowl so I think it'll look really pretty and with a black table to like blend but I really think this turned out really pretty I really like it I know Easter's really like soon so I wanted to go ahead and get this decorated so we can at least enjoy it at least enjoy it for a little bit but now I think I'm gonna move on to the living room and see if we can get it decorated in there. So I have this mirror in my entryway. Um, it's like a kind of like full body mirror. I really need to wipe it down, but right now I'm just trying to get this decor up. <laughs> but I have this Hobby Lobby wreath from last year that I'm just gonna hang. Actually, where am I? Should I hang it like that? Or hang it from, I don't know. I think I'm gonna hang it like that. Like I don't wanna rip the string off. I don't know, I kinda like it like that. It just adds a little bit of an Easter touch this space but I'll worry about cleaning the mirror later I know it needs to be clean but <laughs> this is probably like the most unprofessional video you've ever watched sorry about that <laughs> I'm just trying to get it done I just put everything I'm gonna be working with up here to make it easier I think I'm gonna start by decorating the shelves and then I'll decorate the entertainment center but I went ahead and cleared off the stuff I knew I wasn't gonna use I left some stuff that I'll probably use and I put some like Easter ambiance on the TV, but this is like the stuff I'm going to be working with. Um, some is new, some is stuff from last year and then some like those baskets are thrifted. I think those baskets are the only thing that I found thrifting. Um, but everything else I think is like either TJ Maxx, Ross. I did do a couple hauls on my channel. So if you're looking for like anything specific, you can either comment or, you know, watch the hauls if you want to. But I'm going to decorate these shelves and then the entertainment center really quick. So, yeah. <laughs> I think this turned out so cute that is adorable I love this little basket I got it at Goodwill for two dollars like I saw it it was actually four dollars and they still had it and then like their little color changed and I was like I'm gonna go see if they still have that little basket and they did and it was so it was half off and I'm so thrilled <laughs> that I ended up getting it because so cute like for four dollars I mean it's mm, I don't know I don't know if I would have paid four dollars for it but I still think it's so cute especially for two dollars and I love these little Target dollar spot eggs in it. I think that is just the cutest thing and I just think that pairs together really well. It's super cute.
this little basket is also one of my favorite things. I got it at a thrift store for like 50 cents. It was like 75% off of the ticketed price. And it had a ugly, <laughs> it had a very ugly, tacky, bright yellow butterfly ribbon. And I just cut that off. And I think this is like one of my favorite like thrift finds. And I think I might use it for like organization, but for today I'm just gonna put um, these, I'm gonna put these sparkly eggs from Marshalls in it just to decorate for Easter. But I think in the future I'm gonna use it for like organization, but we'll see. Is that not just like the cutest thing i think this is the cutest little basket i love it so much i love the size i think um like i'm gonna use it to decorate but then like i think for organization i might put like our medicine in it or my makeup i don't know it's just the cutest little basket definitely not gonna use this because it's not really much my style anymore but I think this is missing something and like this little bit of color also the girls will think that the little bit of color is like fun so that's what matters anyways right so I think that maybe will help with the it is like feels like it's missing something up here that's a little bit better not my favorite thing ever, but I'm kind of just working with what I have. My, you know, like farmhousey kind of stuff. I've actually had this bunny banner um, for a few years and I never used it. It was like brand new in the package. I <laughs> just had it. I don't know why I never used it, but I'm going to use it today to go across the TV stand. I don't know how long it is. I have a couple of command hooks already hooked up here. We'll see if this one is good enough. Um, oh, it's tangled. Maybe after I untangle it. Yeah. It could be a little higher, but it's fine. I think it's cute. The girls are going to love that. <laughs> little sparkly bunnies. I also have these two candle holders that I've had for a few weeks or maybe a few months. Um, but I was going to, I got rid of the other ones, the other ones that used to be up here. And I found these and I just haven't put them out yet. But I thought this would be a good time to put these out. And I have some candles. Okay, last thing is my little dough bowl. I'm just going to put these eggs in here. it's enough Is that, that, that looks okay don't it maybe <laughs> whatever the girls are gonna love stuff like this they love eggs they've always like been big into like eggs and surprise eggs and stuff it's just like their thing <laughs> but yep that's cute okay so that's not my favorite I'll be honest with you I love the decor that's up there, um, minus like the banner is not really my style anymore, but it's what I have. So we're going to just run with it. And then I love those candle holders. I think they're pretty. And then the banner, the girls are going to love all the egg things. And then we've got the shelf that I did. And then the other shelf, just ignore the garbage from all the new stuff for the rooms, but the other shelves, but that is going to wrap up this decorate with me or I'm, so I'm going to be doing the baskets next, I think. But even though that was earlier today, it'll be next in the video. But if you want to stick around for the Easter baskets, then 
um, that'll be next. But if you don't, then I hope you enjoy this video. And I hope that, you know, if you're still looking for inspiration or if you're just, you know, tuning in to see the Easter decor, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> So we're here getting like some stuff for the girls class and I'm gonna make their little Easter baskets So I might throw this in a video Coming up. So these are the ones I picked out. Aren't they super cute? The girls love rainbows So I'm gonna pick out a few things to go in them really quick. How cute are these? $1.98. I think I've seen a blue one too. How about this one for Grayson and they can put this on their backpacks How cute are those? So a blue one for Kinsley and a rainbow one for Grayson they love, like, they love yeah, they love and so they'll use these all year round even though they're Eastery But I'm just gonna get like some of their favorite candy like probably the same stuff that we get them for like Christmas and Valentine's Day and like just the same stuff just like the Easter versions So I think like this is just gonna be a random thrown together video But I'll probably just like finish decorating and put oh, I just seen those Disney eggs up there. Look $20 yeah. It comes with 80. Are they pre-filled? Oh, they are. They're pre-filled. Let's get some of those for Grandma's house. Can you reach them? So we're going to get this for Grandma's house. Oh, the kids will love that. My little sister does not like chocolate, so this one's just full of Smarties. Oh, it has a surprise golden egg. Oh, they're going to love this with the Disney characters. And the girls like Smarties. Like, they don't really care. I think they're just more concerned about the eggs. Okay, these little chocolate bunnies, because Grayson likes the cookies and cream. So, here, I'm going to move this. So that's for school, so we still need eggs for school, but we got eggs for grandma's house. And then, let's see, keep it laid out. Oh, this is for Grayson. Laid out what we have. And then Kinsley likes just milk chocolate, like regular. She likes regular milk chocolate. Got some Krabby Patties. Oh, they're shaped like eggs. How cute is that? Okay, definitely these so cute we can get one of these i mean that's pretty much good right yeah. i know it's not as much as we normally do that's a lot though but the, the chocolate bunnies are big wait is this backwards oh it's just not like this one has like a clear opening and that one don't <laughs> that's okay though they don't have to be exactly the same but i think this might be enough like if we see anything else but i feel like the chocolate bunnies are so big that they're gonna take up a lot of space Okay, I'm just gonna get these bubbles because they would love these. Disney Princess. How pretty are these colors, too? And they got like Easter egg look to them. Oh, yeah, these are perfect. I think we're good now. I think that's enough. That's enough for each kid, I think. What do you think? I wanted to get big eggs so we could fill them full. And these are six, so we need 12 each, so four of these. And these are only 98 cents. Okay, cool. So I wanted to fill them full of lots of candy because we got that bag of candy and it comes with like a hundred pieces. So I put lots of candy. Okay, I think we're good. I've had enough to fill up their baskets. So I'll like put these together tonight, probably after they go to bed and like show what they look like. Tomorrow. Yeah, their hunts tomorrow. So they gotta take their baskets to school, but I'm not gonna give them, I'm gonna have to like take them, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put them together for the video and then take them apart. So take them apart just to show what they look like and then take them apart so they can take the little baskets to school. Okay, well, all right, let's go check out. So the girls are home from school, so I'm going to do this little haul, like, here in the bedroom. I actually had to, like, run with this stuff <laughs> so I could hide it from them because we had to pick them up from school after we went and got all this stuff. So I'm just going to do a little haul, and then I'll show what they look like all put together. Um, we did get the little princess bubbles, and they got, like, a little, almost like a little Easter egg detail on them. So cute. Krabby Patties, they're like little Easter egg shape. Krabby Patties, so cute. The Chocolate Bunnies, Kinsley likes milk chocolate. Grayson likes white chocolate, so we got her like the cookies and cream. And she also got the same Krabby Patties and Bubble Wand. And then I got this pack of Kinder Joy eggs just to stick down in there. Those are some of their favorites. And then these little keychains. So not a whole lot, but really... Like, it really is a lot because, like, if the if you look at how big these pieces of candy are, like, this, this is a lot of candy. So, instead of doing, like, a bunch of little candy, I just did, like, some big candy and a couple, like, no toys, but, like, keychains. They can put these on their backpacks. Super cute. Um, Kinsley's backpack is blue and pink and Grayson's is rainbow, so I think they'll love them. And then their little baskets are so precious. So, I'm going to put these together and show what they look like really quick because I have to put their eggs together for school 
And we also, I didn't realize they had like to wear blue shirts tomorrow. So we have to run and get them a little autism, autism awareness shirt because they don't have any blue shirts, which is weird. But um, put these together and then I'll put their little eggs together for school and um, give them their little baskets. So yeah, sorry, it's not like the best little, it's a small haul. So it's not really a whole lot of stuff, but it's okay. <laughs> Okay, how cute are these? I'm actually glad I didn't get any more stuff than this because it wouldn't have fit, like, nothing. I mean, maybe if I'd have got some small candy down in it, but I think it's so cute. I love, because these are, you know, it's Easter, and these are little Kinder Joy eggs, and little Peep, and I think the little Peep sticking out just makes it so cute. And then um, Grayson, like, her little, she got her nails done, um, orange, blue, and yellow, so I just, like, put the orange, blue, and yellow ones, and then she likes orange and yellow, so I gave her that one. Kinsley likes blue, and so I kind of just gave her, Kinsley doesn't really care. She's pretty easy going with stuff. Grayson's the one that's a little bit more, like, wants certain colors, <laughs> but these little fluffy bunny baskets are so cute, and I'm so excited to give them these, but now I'm going to take all of this stuff out of here and hide it, and then I'll give them their baskets so they can use them tomorrow at school, but... Yeah, if you need some little simple, easy ideas for Easter baskets, here you go. <laughs> is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes If I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs I just wanted to do a really quick habitation box unboxing And I'm going to be doing some decorating So I'm really excited because I'm not going to lie, I already looked at everything And I'm super excited, it's so beautiful And I can't wait to show you guys and I can't wait to see how we can style it um, So I'm going to start with these baskets Which are absolutely beautiful I can get that one out of there. <laughs> um, it came with a large and a small basket with lined um, the lined inside, so you could put like a real plant down in here, which I think is so cool. You could have it like hanging on the wall, or they stand up on their own, um, so you could set them down. I'm thinking these might be perfect for my entryway table, just to set on the bottom and put some florals in them. I think that'll be so beautiful. So I was really excited about these. The next thing we have is this gorgeous whitewashed beaded box. I love this. I'm really into like the window. I think that's really trendy right now because I've seen a lot of other people use it as well and they're decorating, but I've noticed it a lot lately that I'm really attracted to like the window kind of pattern. So I definitely love this. Um, and it does open up, which is so cool. This would double for decor and storage, which you guys know that I'm like trying to be a lot more intentional about my decorating because I want, sorry if you hear the dishwasher in the background, um, but I'm trying to be more intentional with my decorating and try to use things um, that I can use for storage. So this is absolutely perfect and I love the whitewash beads. I think this would be perfect for either the hutch or the entryway table as well. So I'm not sure what, I, I'm probably, going to do some styling on the hutch and the entryway table and use a few things in different ways just to show you guys how it could be used. So the next thing is this cute little wreath. I think this is so, so cute. This would be perfect. You guys have seen me do this before where I put like candles in um, the little wreaths. So that would be absolutely perfect. And that is so cute for spring. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I am obsessed with this. Like this is the cutest thing I've ever seen absolutely perfect for spring it is a beautiful rustic bird bath with these two little birds i think that is just the cutest thing ever i'm so excited about this one they also sent me this little beads which you guys know i love the wood beads so this is absolutely perfect i think this will be perfect on the hutch as well just to add into something to add a little bit more 
um, detail. So I think this is so cute. And I saved the best for last because I'm absolutely obsessed with this piece. Like how gorgeous is that? <laughs> I think this is so beautiful. And I honestly think this could work year round, but it looks so beautiful for spring and also fall with the browns and kind of the yellows and oranges. And I love that it's like kind of textured looking. And then of course it's got like the whitewash frame, which I love, <laughs> but I definitely want to use this to style the hutch and probably the entryway table. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to leave up year round, but I'm definitely in love with this one as well. <laughs> So I really wanted to thank Kelly from Habitation Box for sending me these items. She is an interior designer. She owns and operates Habitation Box. She also provides interior design help to her subscribers. There are three different types of boxes. So the different box types are the Elite, which is $129.99 and it includes six to nine items. And then there's also the original box that is $69.99 and includes four to six items. There's also the mini subscription box that includes four items and it is $49.99. So there is kind of something for everybody, something for everybody's budget. And I definitely am excited to be a part of this collaboration because I absolutely love the items I received and I'm so excited to decorate with them. So thank you again, Habitation Box and Kelly for reaching out to me. And guys, don't forget to check out the code in the description. I'll also have it here on the screen and you can get 10% off your order. So here is all the things I'm going to be working with to decorate the hutch. Lots of thrifted finds, but also lots of um, finds from Hobby Lobby and whatnot. Um, I'm not going to like say where I got everything per se. I just wanted to kind of point out what I'm going to be using. If you want to know where anything is from, just let, leave me a comment down below. So I'm going to decorate the hutch really quick. So I think I'm going to kind of just talk through the decorating because you guys tend to like whenever I do that. And I know some people don't like the talking, but either they're just going to click off or they could simply mute the video. That's the way I see it. But I get a lot of positive feedback on the talking style video because a lot of you like to hear like the thought process behind the decorating. So the first thing that I always try to do is start with the big pieces and add those in kind of where I know they're going to go. So for example, I'll show you really quick what I mean. So for example, I know that I want to put this big cutting board on top and layer something in with that. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that where I want it. Um, because I think I want to layer my new habitation box picture up here because I think that would be absolutely beautiful. So here is that picture. I'm absolutely in love with it. I think it's so pretty for year round, for spring, for fall, literally so gorgeous. And it really matches my hutch perfectly. I think it's like the perfect piece to go there. So another big item I have is this dough ball and I know I want to put this in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead, that has some dust on it or cat hair, whatever that is. Oh, I'm sorry if y'all hear the dishwasher, <laughs> but I'm gonna get, go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on the middle because I know I want that to be like the middle piece. So I plan on filling that with like lemons with my summer decor, and then maybe you know apples for like late summer, early fall decor. I think that is a really pretty like staple piece for up here on the hutch. So next, I'm gonna go in with this other serving board. Let me tell y'all how obsessed I am with this thing. I also got a new one in my kitchen. I don't think you'll see it in this video, but um, it's in one of my recent videos. I got it at a consignment shop. I think it was $18 for this one and then like $22 for the other one. But this was like the best $18 I feel like I've ever spent. It's the same consignment shop where I actually bought this dough bowl and my really big dough bowl on the island. If you've seen that, it used to be on my dining table, but I moved it to the island obsessed it's called salt and light consignments one of my very i met her because <laughs> i stumbled upon her store and i met her there but she's like one of my very good friends now her name's virginia the sweetest lady so kind so giving love her so much but this is one of my favorite finds at her store i think it's so pretty like imagine this so it doesn't work in my kitchen right now it's too tall but if i ever build my dream house this will be like the piece that goes like up against you know behind the like stove this will be the piece that kind of goes up against that like maybe with a big round one layered with it oh my gosh that would be so pretty but for now we're going to use it on the hutch I love the abnormal shape of it I think it's so pretty so I'm going to stick that right here 
Um, see, another, here's the thought process. Since I have that one facing that way, I kind of want to flip this one around to give it a little bit more balance. But I want the weird side, <laughs> the weird, I want like the abnormal shape to be like noticeable. So I'm going to face that up top here. But now I feel like that adds more balance because that one is facing that way and that one is facing that way. To me, that's just my thought process on it. Um, so yeah, I added in like my three big pieces. I'm gonna go in with a few more big pieces that I know I wanna add up here and then we're just gonna keep on. Um, this was another thing that I have thrifted. I, know, I said I wasn't gonna say where I got everything, but I guess I am. So I thrifted this, I found it at Goodwill. You guys have to let me know because I wanna say, do y'all watch Marie Love Asbury? I hope I'm saying her name right. I think it's Asbury. Um, I know she watches my videos because she comments. I love her channel and I wanna say that she has the same one. So I have to ask her where she got it from because I thrifted mine. Maybe she thrifted hers too, but I love it. I think it's very like, it's like worn out, kind of like you can tell it's had some, you know, it's been loved, very loved, but um, I love that. I think it makes it look rustic. And I'm gonna add that right here, here in the corner. Kind of give that space something. Um, so let's see what else we can put together. So I found these canisters at Hobby Lobby and I'm going to add those in, but I will tell you, I want to layer in some books, but one thing I always do is I put my pieces in and then I come back and add books. I feel like that just makes it easier than trying to add the books before because you can kind of see where the books need to be placed to kind of add in some layers. But so I'm going to figure out where I want these. Um, I don't want them, I want them in the corner, like either here or here. So I'm going to stick them here for now. And then of course I'm going to add in some books. And then I also like feel like I need to scoop this a little bit to add a little bit more balance. So this jug is from Goodwill, but it's originally from Hobby Lobby and I did see it at Hobby Lobby. So they do still sell it. I actually went and bought because I was so obsessed with it, I went and bought like the other matching base to it because I was so obsessed with it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one in the hutch, but I probably will try to because it has that like rustic kind of crackly look to it. Love it so much, but I found this at Goodwill for $3.99 and it's originally $12.99 at um, Hobby Lobby, but if you get it half off, then it would be half off of $12.99. But then this one was $8.99, so I paid half off of $8.99. So what, $4.50. So cute. Um, so I'm probably going to try to add these in because I feel like I have two of them so they can kind of add some balance. Um, I'm thinking that I want to put the big one here, I think. But just remember, we're going to add in some books. We're going to layer in some books. But... Since I have, this is kind of like bigger, I wanna add like the bigger one there and I think I might pop the small one over here, but we're gonna try to add like, probably face forward like the more rustic part of it, like the more distressed part of it, but we're gonna layer in some books. I think I'm going to try to add in my birdhouse. Um, this is actually perfect because the brass birds that I got from Hobby Lobby will go so pretty with this. And then it being spring, um, that is just too cute. But I think I'm actually gonna bring it down because you can't really see the birds up top. So I'm gonna try to bring it down. Um, oh my gosh, how cute is that? But I'm going to add in some layers. So we gotta add some books and some layers, but we're gonna figure that out. But that is so cute with the little birds. That is perfect for spring. It's just like a like everyday home decor, but you're adding in like the touches of spring and I love that. I really want to add in this new little bowl that I got at Hobby Lobby. Look at the flowers on it. Like, how perfect is that? And the colors, I'm just in love with this. But I'm not sure where I'm going to pop this in at. I might. I don't know if it'll look. I'm not sure if it looks good up here, but we're going to leave it there for right now because I really want to use it. But I feel like, you know, we've kind of already filled in our spaces and we just got to add in some little things. I also have these rustic vases from Hobby Lobby that I want to add in as well because they bring in the colors from that picture. And I just love them. So I'm trying to figure out where I could pop these in at. Maybe I can add some balance here. 
kind of just balance that out. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that there. I really love it, but I'm just not feeling it for maybe whenever spring is over and we get into summer, I can kind of rearrange. Because I think this would be so cute with lemons in it for my summer decor. And then some lemons in the noble just to add in that pop of yellow. And I a thousand percent want to get real lemons because my husband and my kids will definitely eat them. So I actually did have some lemons in here because I wanted to see what it looked like. They're all gone now. But we buy those like, they're kind of like the lemon version of cuties. If you've ever tried those, let me know. My husband and my kids literally eat them like they're going out of style. I feel like this box could go somewhere because it reminds me of like something you might keep recipes in which would be so cute. So I almost want to like, like add, maybe take these away or switch these with this because I feel like this box, it like kind of looks like it's given like recipe box vibes. So I think it would be really cute up here on the hutch somewhere. If I can make it work somewhere, we'll see. But I just think that's cute. It's kind of like, you know, like you look at it and you think, um, you know, you can keep recipes in it. And I think that's cute. But I really want to use this base, but I think it's maybe not fitting. Maybe we can add it in up here. I like that. I think it kind of adds some balance. We'll see. So I thrifted these. Um, I think it was $5 for both of them, which is a little more than I would have normally paid for something like this. But I knew they'd be perfect for the hutch with the wood and the brass handles. And it says they're made in Japan. Um, so I'm not sure like how much something like this would be worth. But I definitely think they would look really good on the hutch. So I had to have these. <laughs> but I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put them. I think I'm just going to stick them somewhere here on this little board. But I definitely want that brass to be showing. And I've got to add in more brass because I love brass somehow some way we're gonna make that work but i'm not sure if i'm gonna leave it like that per se but i think we've got a good balance going on just have to add in some more layers so i found these salt and pepper shakers at a local place and it was 14.99 for the set which i love them and they are y'all look how perfect these match with everything up here and they've got that crackly look to them they're kind of like beige they got the brown so pretty with everything up here so i'm going to layer them in and i'm going to add some books and stuff so don't worry it's going to look better when it gets done but we're going to just start adding in layers i'm wondering if i can maybe add this little spring wreath somewhere just to add in that touch of spring like how cute is that that adds in just that pop of green for spring i love that there so I'm gonna add in my little brass birds. I've got this set that comes with two birds and then I've got a set that has one bird. So I'm going to add these in for that pop of brass and also that little touch of spring. I think that is really cute. So I have these brass cable holders and this is a thrifted one I found for I think 99 cents and then I actually got this one at TJ Maxx. Um, so I'm going to try to add these in somewhere. I think I need to use the short one with this taller stuff and the tall one maybe with the shorter. I just want that touch of brass. So I'm just gonna try to like layer these in and if it don't look good when I get done, I can rearrange, but um, so far so good, I think. Just want to add in like some layers to just kind of balance it out and give the balance of colors and stuff. I have this brass pitcher that I thrifted and I want to add this in somewhere. I might put it up here on my little recipe box. That's what we're calling it, it's a recipe box. Um, but you could definitely use this like anywhere in your house. It would be so cute, I love it. Okay, so I'm gonna add in my brass birds. Um, I'm going to add in some books, so I think that'll help kind of balance everything, and then we can add in some more little touches. So I just brought a couple of neutral books um, over here just to start adding in some books. I'm going to bring some more over, but for now, I just want to see what it looks like with a couple of books added in. So see how that helps balance that? Like, that looks so much better now. And then I can add something else right here, and that just looks so much better. Um, I love that. And then, so I want to add, definitely I wanted to add a book underneath these canisters. I'm going to find some more books around to add in. 
but I love these canisters. I think those are so pretty. So I found these little brass um, measuring spoons at TJ Maxx. And for a while I was like, I don't need them, I don't need them, I don't need them. They were the last set whenever I went like on another shopping trip, trip they were the last set. So I was like, yeah, I've gotta have these. Like, I'm actually going to, I don't cook or bake a whole lot. Like I'm not a baker. Usually everything I make is from a box, which you know, you still need measuring cups for that. And I actually didn't have any like teaspoon, tablespoon measuring cups. I just have like the bigger ones. Um, or if I do have some, I have no idea where they're at. <laughs> But I was like, I'm actually gonna use these and then they're decor. So I'm going to use them in the hutch. I thought they would be really cute to add in somewhere here on the hutch. So see how cute that is with just that pop of brass? It's like adding in just the pop of the brass color. Each little section is getting its own little pop of brass and I think it's so pretty. So before we add in some more books, I just wanna take these little wood. I got these at Hobby Lobby. Last year, they were 90% off or something like that. Like, they were super, super marked down, and I love them. I decorate with them all the time, but I think these will be cute just to add in somewhere, just to add a little more of a wood touch. Um, we'll see. I think that's cute. I don't know if that's too much in that little space, but I think it's cute. And then I'm going to take these little beads that I got in my habitation box and add those in as well. I think maybe, maybe my little brass bird is too much. Like I definitely love it here, but it's like kind of adding a little too much. So I think I'm going to move it. Not sure where yet. I'm probably going to put it, I want to put a book here, but I might, yeah, I think I'm going to add it here for, cause that one doesn't have any brass yet. So we're going to try to add something here. Okay, I found a few more books that I think go with our color scheme. So this one really goes well. It like almost matches that one perfectly. So I think I want to add this under my little jug. Okay, just to add some balance to my little jug over here. Um, let's see if we can find something else. I wonder, do y'all think... Comment, let me know if you think I should put some books up top. I wasn't going to, because I felt like it was a little much already with like all the pieces, but now I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'm gonna add my little bird back up here. I definitely think that book helped, like it gave it that pop of gold, but also like that's just really cute. And then we'll kind of move that off the wall. And then I really like this book. I found this, it was like 25 cents. I really wanted to add this in, but I don't really see a need for it. Unless maybe I stick it like over here to the side. I really like that brown and that gold, like that color scheme is really pretty. Um, I still feel like we're lacking something here. I don't really have anything to put here, but I definitely feel like we're lacking. Maybe I can look around the house and see and then maybe I should add in some more books. <laughs> I like decorating with books. I've just like discovered like thrifting books and decorating with them. See, that's pretty, but the orange is throwing me off. But how pretty is this going to be for fall decor? Like imagine that with like a fall hutch with the gold and that's going to look really good. So I think we're going to leave it like this. I'm going to step back and look at it and see if I'm feeling it and maybe try to find something to go there. Um, so I'll be right back. So I found a couple of things that I could possibly use to help add to that middle. Um, I thrifted both of these. This one was $5 and I don't remember how much, I think this one was 10. Um, but I love these, especially for spring. I think they're so pretty. And we're gonna see, I think, I think this one might have too much color. Like it's got that pop of pink, blue, and yellow. I think this one would be perfect. So we're gonna see. Oh my gosh, I like that. But I'm going to step back and look. I think that was it. I think I just needed something here. And then possibly like some fruit here would have been really pretty. But I don't have any. Well, I guess I have limes. Let's try some limes. Let's see if limes work. Okay, y'all. I brought some limes. So I probably have to get a few more. But these didn't have stickers on them, so I got to peel the stickers. Yeah, I'm going to go get some more limes. <laughs> But I think that was that pop of color that I needed. This is so pretty for spring. This is not at all the direction I thought this was going to go, but you know, here we are and I'm loving it. So I'm going to go get some more lines. 
Okay, I got a few more limes. These do have stickers on them, but it's fine. I'll just face the stickers away. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I actually wasn't planning on using my little wreath or this painting, but that little pop of green is so perfect to transition from spring to summer. I love that. That's so cute. Okay, this is definitely like one of my favorite hutch looks that I've ever done. I'm like totally obsessed. And thank you again to Habitation Box because I don't think I've ever been so obsessed with my hutch. I love it so, so much. The only thing that I didn't use from the habitation box for the hutch was those baskets, but I'm going to try to style my entryway table with those, so we'll see if I'm able to come up with anything for that. <laughs> I also really, really wanted to use this little thrifted bowl, but I didn't get, I only paid a dollar for this. It was only a dollar. I wanted to use it somewhere, but I'm not really seeing a need for it. Every little, so we've got some brass here, brass here, brass here, here. There's no brass here. But I don't really see a need for the brass here. We've got some brass here, here. We don't have any brass here because I took away the birds, but we've got brass here. Um, I guess like if I, like after spring is over, I could just add this bowl here, maybe, to add that brass pop. But while it's spring, I'm going to keep my little bird house, or bird bath, not bird house, my little bird bath, um, because that is so adorable. <laughs> I just realized my little light wasn't on the whole time, so I hope you guys were able to see what I was doing. But I'm definitely in love with the way it came out. Here's just an up close. How stinking cute are those limes? This is like the best hutch look that I've ever done. This is definitely my favorite. Oh my gosh, how cute is everything for spring? So cute. I love all the pops of green, and that little painting was the perfect thing to finish it off. And of course the limes and the dough bowl. I'm gonna have to keep fruit in that dough bowl like all the time. I think it's perfect. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if it's like your favorite hutch look I've ever done, cause it's definitely my favorite. I'm seriously obsessed with this. Like it's so simple, so simple yet so beautiful. And like literally it's perfect for spring, but all I have to do is take away a few things and just add in like summer touches. So it's like mostly everyday decor. So that's saving me so much time and so much money. I am so happy with this. Like I can't stop looking at it and I don't think I've ever been this in love with a hutch look that I've done before. Okay this was a little piece that I thrifted for $1.99 at a local place and I was thinking that since we got the green going on maybe I should add this little green one. But y'all let me know if you like it better because then that's like pop of green here pop of green here and a little pop of green on the bottom so let me know do you think i should put the brass one back or have the green one isn't that just the cutest thing ever for a dollar 99 i had to have it <laughs> i think i like the green one it just adds in that spring touch so cute okay so now we're gonna decorate my entryway i did steal the habitation box things from the hutch because i wanted to show you guys the different ways that i styled them and then of course like if i prefer it in the entryway i'll leave it in the entryway if i want to put it back on the hutch that's what i'm gonna do so i wanted to go for like a late spring early summer color scheme over here so i brought in these beautiful i think they're called cosmos and i've also got these light blue um, little buds and I think these are perfect so I'm gonna try to style these in my little vase really quick I kind of got it all laid out here but I just brought everything over that I thought I might want to use um, so I'm gonna do the vase first and see how that looks I think it's gonna be really cute I think these white flowers work for summer as well like I love the color of them I think I may need a few more yeah, I definitely feel like I need a few more. This is all the white ones I have. I have a bunch of pink ones as well. But we're going to try to add in these blue flowers and maybe that helps. Let's see if I can kind of just stick them down the middle. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> I'll just like stick them in there and then arrange them once I get them stuck down. Because these are kind of easy to pull apart to kind of arrange them. I just kind of wanted like a, a mix of like wild flower look to it, like a 
like a wildflower mix look, <laughs> if that makes sense. So let's see. Um, it's a little sparse looking, but I think it'll work for right now. I think I'll probably run to Hobby Lobby and get some more of these white Cosmos. Yeah. But that's cute. I think I'm feeling it. It's got that little, almost like a yellow look to it, so it kind of flows into summertime. So I brought these over. I had these in my dough bowl, and I thought these would be pretty. I thought these would be pretty to maybe like shove down in here in these little baskets. Um, this one might see if I can shove it pretty far down in there. <laughs> so I just kind of have that like flowing. I probably need a smaller one for this one, but maybe I can just like kind of shove that a little further so it's kind of. I just wanted it to look kind of like gathered and then I'm going to set that on the bottom but I just wanted to show how I style that and then I have another one that I'll do for the bigger one kind of the same way but probably won't have to shove it so far down in um, but I'm going to style these on the bottom but I'll show what they look like um, whenever I get them down there I'll probably like pull these out a little bit more to look more flowy like this one, but I love the way that looks. Isn't that so cute? So I'm just stick these down here. light pink spiral ones from Hobby Lobby and they they broke because the cats like to jump up here and knock things over so we're just gonna work with what we have. I guess I could take some of my summer candles and add them in but we'll just wait. <laughs> and let's see I'm gonna move this out of the way it's not gonna stay there but I just want to kind of I was thinking that I could maybe add I could maybe add this little wreath right here but is it too small? I guess I'm going to add it and then see how it looks. If it looks too small, I'll take it away. If I can get it on there. I'm going to see, like, once I get it all done. It might be a little too small, but, um, we'll see. I kind of like it. I'm kind of digging it. It might be, I don't know. Do y'all think it looks dumb? But we'll see. Whenever I get it all done. Um, I think I'm definitely going to style all these this box and this bird bird bath together. So I think that's so cute. And you already know that I want to layer the sign with my mirror. So I'm gonna move my vase where it goes. And then I want to layer this sign with my mirror because that's something I always like to do. Probably move this little box. I feel like that adds the balance like because I got the base over here and it's kind of got some height to it and then I'm just going to add these little beads in as well just to add some more texture and I think that's looking good maybe I should just move this over to add some more balance I wipe the table down but it gets dusty so easy <laughs> So I've got my little baskets down there and then I just left my little lanterns there or hurricane candle holders, whatever they're called. And then I've got my habitation box items. So I actually utilized all the items in my entryway. So the baskets, the box, the little beads, the bird bath and the sign and the wreath are all from the habitation box subscription. I love the way that this flower <laughs> arrangement looks. I definitely need to add some more. Flowers, I think I need some more of these white Cosmos, but that is so cute. I love the colors and I like the pop of the gold from the candle holders. I think everything ties together really well. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. You'll have to let me know if you prefer my habitation box items in the entryway or the hutch. Which one do you like better? I am so torn. I feel like I love both of them so much. It's going to be so hard to decide which one to go with, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. 
Even if the sky is falling down 